Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, a quick morning update here. Uh, the coins, some of the smaller coins are pumping a little bit, a few percent, right? We're gonna keep an eye out on this. But for right now, we'll start with the XRP. Uh, even the XRP got a smidgen up. You can see we got a little bit of a pump there this morning. But now everything's starting to die off. I've noticed this a lot of times. The coins will start to pump about four, between 4.30 and 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock, they dump. It's almost like the wows and the market manipulators know the retail trader. A lot of them wake up in America between 4.30 and 6. So they'll pump it while they're getting ready. So they go into the shower, right? And so they just panic by. And by the time they get out of the shower, they're already 10% down. And they're like, what the fuck? Because they, they had to go in the shower. They couldn't watch the, you know, the market. They couldn't watch the fucking chart, you know? So they get fleece heisted and shisted. So right now, we're going to start in a three-hour time frame. And you see we're below the 200-day moving average in green, right? With our industry exclusive perching tool and a pointer to show you what the fuck I'm talking about. 200-day moving average in green right there. Downtrending, blue. Uh, 100 day red 50 all down trending those are bearish when they're down trending like that usually they act as overhead resistance until you get a bottoming pattern right and right now I don't think I mean you could say we're trying to form a little bottom but we're coming up to the 100 day moving average and this is a uh, judgment day or judgment day number one if you get rejected again you already got rejected once quick down and got supported by the uh, 50 day and then come back up to the 100 day again if you can get above that, you're gonna make a run at the 200 day. And that's what you need to get above to be bullish, right? But right now, uh, the volume is very low, but if the volume's low and it comes in buys, it can bump the price, right? So that's why we start from a far out time frame, and then we work our way in real quick to the 30 minute time frame to get a little bit of a better close up look by the minute chart uh, to give you a super simple easy way to trade this manipulated market to profitability right and you can see here's how we're gonna do this in the 30 minute if you want to get bullish right you got to zoom out the fuck are the moving averages at? maybe I just hit them on accident uh, who knows oh they're underneath that but what you got to do to get bullish you're above it in the 200 or you're above the moving averages in the 30 minute so that's bullish in the 30 minute bearish in the three hour right you need to stay above that 200 day moving average but it looks like we're starting to top out and run out but you need to stay above that and make a run up here to that one dollar six cents that we talked about the other day you need to trade up and then reload on a consolidation a down and sideways to kick back up right that's what you need to try to get bullish so but right now that's bullish that you pumped off the 200 day but you're getting back to that high you saw it a few hours ago. And it looks like you may be running out of steam. And if you do, you're going to start trading back down. And your first underneath target, if you get below the moving average, would be down here. And then 92 cents, right? So that's what to watch out for. And the XRP and this morning update, right? As we traverse down. In interstate central Illinois, right? Where there was no snow. There was snow at home. And then it snowed again right after I left. So we've had about six inches of snow in Detroit this year already. It's not even December yet. And how many inches of snow in central Illinois? Inches? We haven't even seen a fucking flake of snow. Don't fucking snow. It's the snow desert. It gets cold. After every storm, the cold air floods. But... The mild air comes out ahead of every storm, and the snow is always just north, where I live in Michigan. But since I'm not there, you know, the fuck does it matter, right? Bullshit. Just fucking hellhole desert. Oh, the quant. The quant, duh! Right? We haven't talked about the old quant in a minute. We're in a downtrend, right? And if we can turn around this downtrend, 
we can make a run at that moving average now. We've built enough of a base. We came down and hit that 199 target, even got a little bit below it. Now, if you want to get bullish, you can try to pump up to this moving average, right? We've been suppressed long enough. The quant, you can try to trade into that moving average right there. If not, you're going to come up to the 200, the 100 day, and you're going to flush way the fuck down, all the way down to this shit house, right? $38. We've been telling you it's coming back there, but we might have went down enough to get a little bit of a pump, right? Because we've been beating the fuck down in the quant. And you can see we're right on the 200 day in the, in the daily time frame, and that's why we had that circle there on a long-term target from when we got flushed back there, right? Now, moving on to the XLM. The XLM has been coming down like we thought it would. It hit the ring, the ring, the ring. And then now we got supported on, I believe, the moving average in the three-hour time frame. Uh, wrong, Vincenzo. Couldn't have been more wrong there. <laughs> Couldn't have been more wrong there either, right? Yeah, it's all wrong everywhere. I don't know what I was talking about. Ain't no fucking moving it. Oh, we got supported off the the volume indicator green support box. I got that. That's what I was. There we go. I got it so dim back. I didn't even. That's what I was thinking of. Look at that. See that? Watch. Bam. All right, I got it yellow. We need to make that green. That's the volume indicator, right? So we're getting supported in that major support box. And then we're coming back and we retested this blue ring and got above it. So that's short term bullish, right? Now we can try to make in a bull run. You come back down and you back test this, right? That's why we had that moving average. We drew up there where it could be into the future. And now we're into the future and it's running up against the moving average that's in the current time frame. And now, oh, the fuck is this? Man, this fucking Fugazi, right? It's fucking Fugazi. It's jabroni getting in the way but you come back and back test and then kick back up and get above the moving average and that would be bullish right but if you're going to get bearish you come do the same thing and then you flush right so that's what we're going to watch out for in the market today subscribe it's free what is this fugazi doing get the fuck out of here my see he's like the retail trader it's fleece heisting and shyster i don't know what the fuck he's doing but that's how you get bullish and bearish. We'll get some more updates today as we settle back into the work environment. But we got some catching up to do in the old office. And then we'll get to some updates. Like, subscribe. Peace and love. Peace and love.